Yo what is going on guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how you can download Cheat Engine without any viruses and first of all, you do not have to deactivate your antivirus as you can see over here, where is it, uh, right here well I have Bitdefender so it won't really show any options here but you can see everything's checkmarked, everything is like turned on and obviously it looks a bit different here because of my antivirus but everything is still activated so I'm going to show you guys how you can download Cheat Engine without any of the adware and bloatware and whatever and possible viruses that might come with it so pretty much I've just taken Cheat Engine and I've just like taken out all of the the crap from it pretty much and I've put it all into a Google Drive file for you guys to download so I'm gonna explain to you guys how you can download that. So in the description is this link that I have on the screen here and you wanna click that. So for me, I'm just gonna you know, select it, copy it, and then, well, I'm just in this browser. So you guys can click on it there or copy and paste it, whatever, I don't know. But anyways, you're gonna get taken to here. Google Drive can't scan this file for viruses. It just says that because the file is too big, doesn't mean there's a virus in it. It just says that because the file is too big, as you can see here, this file is too large for Google to scan viruses. We'd like to still download anyways. Download anyways. So you click download anyways. And you can either do this with WinRAR, which is why the little logo looks like that, or with zip or whatever. But usually you don't really have to download anything. But wherever it downloads, you just go to there. So for me, it's saved in downloads. So you see right here, Cheat Engine Clean. Now for me, I have WinRAR. So I'm going to right click it. And it might be like this for most people. I'm pretty sure it is for any. Uh, person with uh, extracting a file or whatever so you go you know extract here or extract files they're both exactly the same to be honest and then you click on it cheat engine clean and then you scroll down and you want to click on this one cheat engine.exe application as you can see it has a cheat engine logo and you can run it as administrator or just double click it if it doesn't work by double clicking it just run it as administrator and you'll get this option here i don't know if you can see it because sometimes my my obs or like my video recorder doesn't capture this part i don't know why but for here it says do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device and it'll say change.exe you want to click on yes because if you click no the application won't open and it asks you this because Cheat Engine is a program that modifies files and for like for the things you hack so your computer needs to ask you this so you're gonna click yes and there you have it so here is Cheat Engine and as you can see, everything works. Let's just go to the settings, for example. Where is the settings? There you go, settings. As you can see, everything is here. It's not like cut short or anything. Everything is here. For example, hotkeys, you know, you can customize all this. And there you guys have it. Uh, even the processes work, and yeah, pretty much everything that's there. And there you guys have it. So, if you have any questions, please put them down in the comments. I will try my best to reply to all of them. And that's pretty much it. See you guys in the next video. Before the video ends, I just wanted to throw this in that this is after the download, as you can see, um, no current threats, protection settings, you know, nothing, no action needed, and everything's fine. No virus pop-ups, no nothing, everything's fine. And, uh, well, yeah, I just wanted to throw that in. See you guys.